Hello, welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Calvi Cal. So there's a lot of demos going on with the Steam Next Gen Fest or whatever it's called, so I'm going to be playing a bunch of demos. This is going to be the first one. I, uh, I've done the Fear the Phantom game. We're going to turn the volume a little bit. Volume a little bit. Um, I played Fear the Phantom. It's by the same person, so... There's multiple endings. Oh. Alright, let's get to it. The night shift. Another day of work. I sure as hell hope I can't can find another job soon. This job sucks. Alright, it's 11.57. I better get in there. Even though the job sucks, I've never been late. Better keep it that way. Alright, shift makes you run faster. This game is a horror game. I'm not a big fan of horror games, so we're going to see how this all goes. Ah, you, there you are, two minutes early, I see. We'd recommend you for your functionality, but you're not the only one who has things to do. Speaking of which, your tasks are on the wall in the back, put on your cap and get to work. In words of football god Timothy Brundentagel, I didn't come this far only to be eaten by sheep. For next time, try five minutes early at least. You can do that, huh? Recap from your locker. All right. It's like E picks it up. All right. Restock soda, clean floor, throw out an old newspaper. Throw old newspaper, take out trash, clean table. All right, let's start by restocking sodas. All right, pretty simple. So you hit the E button, it picks them up. All right, boom, done. Pick out mop. Okay, so I can only do it in a specific order. Can I close this door? Really wish I could close that door. All right. I hear someone coming in. These $2 hot dogs. Do you want some of our $2 hot dogs, sir? See, clearly clearly says two dollars it's two dollars they're two dollars uh we're two dollars for tonight i don't care what he says my name's truck driver johnson you may know me from the channel name truck driver johnson if you don't that's fine on the road anyway i'd like this chocolate bar please boom I still have that. I do. I'm going to get fired for charging too little for the hot dogs. But they're only $2. Just to prove Fear the Phantom wrong. About his pricing schemes. Their pricing schemes. Alright. Boom. Done. Alright. Clean floor. Throw old newspaper. I assume he means throw out the old newspaper, take out trash. What the hell was that? Man moves erratically, seems to be completely inside his own mind. He mumbles something unintelligible. pooped today so I'm good just gonna point it out there but there's no way in hell that I guess this is uh, probably a shady random place but uh, most places as far as I understand but by policy wouldn't let you run trash out by yourself that late at night all right trash disposed of Another customer is coming in. All right. Hello. Clearly a nurse. Looks like you're wearing nurse attire. So, you just had a patient die at my table. Bloody mess, silly. Give me a hot dog, would you? I'll just turn a patient before I can tell you no. 
A train out there delinquent drug use right outside the gas station. I've deduced due to the individual sclera being off colored, slightly tinted towards a yellow color, hints at his prolonged use of alcohol. His pupils are also extremely large, which hints at methamphetamine use. Told you I was good. Anyway, I just thought you should know. There was that hot dog. Thanks. Two dollars. See? Doesn't even tell you how much it actually is. Two dollars. We're gonna change the sign. Sponge. Okay. Do I can I return the mop? I guess not. What's up, buddy? Hey. I gotta clean the uh Hey. I'm sorry I didn't mean to yell. Did I scare you? I'm sorry, okay? It's just that I like those stains, so please leave them. I have a job to do, but the customer's always right, right? I'm sure you're a good guy, but just leave the goddamn stains. Just leave this guy alone. Yeah, all right. You want a hot dog here? Only $2. Want a hot dog? The symbol wasn't there earlier. Oopsie doodle. I left your stains. Hey, I know I'm probably not supposed to be in here, but the stains helped me realize something. It's you. Funny. Fuck, what is he doing to do? I need to find some way to call the police, but if I reach for my phone, he might attack. Better try to stay calm and look for an opportunity. Find the man who works his station, and you shall find salvation. That's what the man told me. It has to be you. It's true. But forget all that nonsense, okay? All that talk is salvation bullshit. I don't care, okay? That guy's was stacked. Get a whole bag of goodies for me, okay? That's all I care about. Do you understand? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't look like that. I don't like that look. Oh, God, what do I do? Should I look down? If I reach my phone, now he's definitely going to attack. I have to say something. I have no problem with you, okay? How about you just hand over the letter to me, and then you can go and get salvation? No, you idiot. No one ever listens to me. I don't care about all the new age spiritualistic crap. Spiritualist crap. I just want that what was promised. Do you understand? Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Please just give me the letter, and you can go. I don't want to get hurt. Man seems to be satisfied with the response and takes out the letter from his po back pocket and hands it over to you. There, my job is done. This was the easiest thing I've ever done for some dope. What an idiot that guy was. Anyway, I'm out of here. But if I see you again, I'll cut your head off for giving me the weird look earlier. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Fuck out of here. I have... Okay, I need to clean. Fine. Do you wish to open the envelope? Sure. You open the envelope carefully. The letter reads as follows. Dear Mr. MC, we hope this letter has found its way safely into your hands. Based on the fact that you're reading these words at this very moment, it is safe to say it has. Nailed it. You see, this letter is for your eyes only. Right now your head is probably filled with questions. So we will do you a courtesy by relie relieving you of this burden. You are very special, Mr. MC. You see, you have been selected. Selected for what? Another question. Well, here's the answer. You were to do a job, a very important job, one in which your success will decide the fates of those around you. The reading of this letter is the most important moment of your life, and you must choose carefully what to do. There is a man by the name of Mr. Sher Ramanesh. He must die tonight by your hands. Exactly how you execute this mission is up to you. As long as you get it done, we are happy. I, th I suppose I'd put it. Uh, a man shall await for your arrival near the convenience store named Reba 50. He will equip you with a loaded firearm and a lockpick. Just in case you need a dash of motivation, we know your girlfriend Amanda. She's very pretty. The way she spends her days in the park, looking at people walking by, simply angelic. She dies should you fail. So at that, we won't take up any more of your time. Look at the back of the letter for more information. On the back side of the letter, you find information about Mistisher, as well as a map showing the path to his villa. I really don't want anything to happen to my Amanda. I don't think I have any choice but to listen to these guys. Okay, they're taking, can I take a $2 hot dog for the road? Or can I actually finish cleaning? You're good at my job, but y'all.
Amanda. Can you do it? Me and Amanda. Oh, that, see, that actually is me. That's exactly what I look like. The way you fail like most. Gun. Scar Game Productions and Noom. Is that a Fiat? I'm sorry, Mr. Sure. Oh. As good as dead. Tonight you die. Me. That's me. Eyes of a killer right there. So that we may live. Envelope. Can I push it? Can I push the envelope? Man, my jokes are very appreciated. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Full game will be out in the first half of 2024. To help us out, please consider wishlisting the game on Steam, following us on Twitter, and telling a friend about the game. I am doing you one better. I... Oh, hey! Little, little thing. I want to know the ending. I'm just kidding. All right, well, I guess that's Envelope. Uh, I don't know how long the game is going to be. Um... If you watched all the way to the end, please comment uh, $2 hot dogs on this video. <laughs> uh, make sure you go like uh, wishlist it on Steam, though. Fear the Phantom, while it's not my type of game, was a good looked like a good game. Uh, posts a bunch of stuff on their Twitter, so definitely follow them on Twitter. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. As always, I'll catch you all later. Cabot, come out. Bye.